Because remember the whole exercise of this is that we're going to use the information to make decision. We were looking at factors that we said would have affected the animals that we had to pay attention to, right? We spoke about factors that would affect the kids or the lamb and we said one of the factors or three factors that would affect the weight of the animal is what again quickly? The age of the, 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 the mother, right? The sex of the offspring, if it's male or female, and how many offspring they actually had and brought it to weaning stage, right? So we know those three main things are important to us because those are three factors that we're going to try to eliminate that they don't influence the data that we're calculating, right? Now we also said that for each animal, they're going to be, they're going to be kidding or lambing at different times, right? So each kid is going to have their own birth date, each lamb is going to have their own birth weight, right? And they're going to be weaned at different times. This kid might have weaned this week, another kid weaned the next week, and the week after, right? And we're saying, okay, because there's this variation in terms of some born in early or some weaning early or some born later than some, let us see how we can get everybody on an even plane, right? We have decided that we're going to adjust their weight and we're going from the paper now too, right? We're going to adjust their weight to 90 days. We want to see that given the all conditions being equal and every kid was born at the same time, and we at the same time, what would their weight be, right? So to get to that, we had to see how much weight they were gaining each day so we can say how much is at the total. Let me go step by step again, right? So we are looking at average daily gain for the animal, right? So we said we have the birth weight of the animal. This is when the little animal was born, right? So this is birth, right? Then the animal went to weaning. So we said weaning weight, right? So this is weaning. So we said the animal was born and then it was weaned, right? So let us look at our chart. We're going to use the first one. We said the animal was born. When it was born? January 8th. January 8th. So we say 8th of January it was born, right? And at January 8th when it was born, how much did it weigh? 7.1. It was weighing 7.1 kilograms, right? So the animal was born the 8th of January, it was weighing 7.1 kilograms, right? We said that it went to weaning, right? When did it wean? 27th of April. So it weaned the 27th of April, right? So we want to say, okay, how much did it weigh at weaning? It weighed 36.2 kilograms. Right? That is great. We have that information on the kid. This is what we're doing for the kid. Right? Or the lamb. So we know when it was born, when it was weaned, right? Now from January to April, how many days did it take it from being born to being weaned? So we're saying it took 109 days. Right? It took 109 days for the animal to move from this weight to this weight. So when we, when we say, okay, how much did it actually gain? This is what it was, you know, when it was born. How much did it actually gain? From, from 7.1 to 36.2, how much is that? 29.1. So we are saying between here and here. It gained 21.9. <laughs> so it's 29.1 kilograms. Yes. 
Yeah. Right? So, this is the amount of weight it gained. Right? But we're saying that because we're going to move them, because we want to say 90 days, how many each of them would weigh at 90 days, for us to multiply everybody to get 90 days, we have to say how much was it on a daily basis, right? Mm -hmm. So if they gained 29.1 kilogram, mm -hmm. right, in 109 days, so therefore, make it simple for those, therefore, in 109 days, right, they gained 29.1 kilo, kilogram. Therefore, again, no, in therefore, we're trying to get the daily. Therefore, in one day, right? You know, you can run up with a teacher. So you know that we always said one over the 109, right? For those who do mass, one over, can you put day over day? The one that we want to find over the one that we have, so one over 109 times 29.1 kilogram. And how much does that give us? 0 0.27 kilograms per day, right? So every day this animal was gaining 0.27 kilograms, right? And we said if he was gaining this every day, what would be his total weight at 90 days? So we say 0 0.27 times 90 days, right? Multiply that. 24.3. 0.3 kilograms. But then, some person, sometimes we forget the other part of it. That this was what he gained in 90 days, right? But what is his final weight? So his final weight, right? Is going to equal to the 24.03 kilograms that he would have gained in 90 days plus the weight that he was born with. Equals 31.1. 31.1. 31.1. That is where my point one kilograms. So all we are saying is that this animal, in 90 days. right, he went to 109 days. You see how long it took him to win? But we are adjusting everybody to 90 days, right? So we had to find out how much he was gaining per day, right? And then to multiply that by 90 days, and then to add back his birth weight so that we could get his final weight. Yeah. Any clearer? Very clear. Yeah, You're time. sure? Yes. All we, so all we're doing is finding the average daily gain for the animal, right? Now, what we do is that we do that for all our animals. And because we're adjusting to 90 days, we multiply that by 90. If you were adjusting to 180 days, you could get back to 180 days. If I wanted to adjust everybody to 109 days, I would multiply when I get this average daily gain, right? How much they're gaining per day, which is this, right? But this is our average daily gain. Now, this is what they're gaining every day. Right? We would multiply this figure by 109 days. But whatever we're doing for one animal is the same thing we're, we're doing for every animal. And we are adjusting everybody to 90 days. Because we don't want to say there was any variation that could have caused anybody to look better than the other. Right?